Hello fellow YouTubers! Have you ever wondered what it looks like from what I'm seeing or from my chair? Uh, this video is going to be about a hack that I did recently to my low boy stand. Uh, I think you'll find it interesting. It allows me to put my monitor directly below my camera sitting right in front of me on my low boy stand. Uh, it's easy peasy. I'll show you a couple of variations and if you watch to the end you're going to see something really slick. So let's jump in. We'll take a look. Okay guys, so let's get started here. What I've got is a junior stand and I'm going to pop this out. So what you need to know about a junior stand, uh, there's a couple of differences from some of the other type stands that you might run across in photography or video. A junior stand has a couple of baby pin adapters here. So you got one of these at the bottom, you get another one at the top comes in very handy. Uh, the big difference is that pin is 5 8 of an inch. This one here is one and an eighth inch. Yeah, okay, and I'm going to refer to that a little bit later. And then really all I do is I take my tripod mount, put it on the top, and I used to use this as my tripod in the studio for a long time until I built my larger self-balancing stand over there. And uh, But yeah, pretty straightforward. So this thing just comes in here like this. But the reason for this video was I wanted a way to mount a monitor here so that it would be below my camera so it was right in front of me, right below the lens and I could see it easy peasy. And so this is what I came up with. First thing you're going to need is a super clamp. Manfrotto makes them, uh, Impact make them, and uh, if you've never heard of them before run out and buy two of them because they are the handiest thing for photography video uh, you're ever going to come across. If you take the plastic plug that comes with it out, then you can clamp this puppy onto a round pipe. And they've got, so basically there's a, there's a button on it here. You press the button, that allows you to put the spigot in, take it out like so. So what we're going to do is clamp it onto the bottom of our junior stand, like so, snug it down. And then the next thing you're going to need, and what's different about this, I saw a DSLR video shooter, Caleb Pike, he, he did a stand. He's done a couple of videos where he shows, you know, all in one studio and one stand or whatever, but he's never done it with a junior stand. And he's never done it where you're taking any old monitor that doesn't have a VESA mount and you can mount it onto a plate. And so the key to this setup is what I wanted was a plate that was about here. I could sit, I got two monitors that don't have VESA mounts on them. I want to be able to sit the old monitor on here right below the camera and away we go. So how do you do that? So the first thing that I thought was once I came up with my plate, which is 12 inches by 10 inches, I drilled it out to 3816 and then I just used one of these newer, pretty cheap, uh, like a ball head leveler, a tripod leveler, and you can screw that in here. So now I've got a way to level it, have fine tune adjustment once I get this thing the way that I want it. The next thing you're going to need is a six inch spigot arm. And the spigot arm basically, it comes with the spigot, quarter 20 on the bottom, 3816 on the top. We're going to use the quarter, uh, we're going to use the 3816 actually. So I'm going to tighten this up in here like so. And then this can thread into the bottom of our leveler and now our leveler the whole mechanism can push the button down tighten it up like so okay and then I just got to reach around and once that's loose I can turn this I've got quite a range of adjustment here so really I just want it you know as close to level as you can get and there my friends is hack number one with a junior stand to mount a monitor Let's mount the monitor. Just happen to have one handy here. This is a SyncMaster 20 BX2450. There you go. And so your camera's up above. Easy peasy. Okay. So then I started thinking, the only thing I don't like about the low boy stand is that the uh, legs here the circumference is almost three feet and I don't have a lot of room on the other side of my desk so I thought geez how am I going to work that out so I'm going to show you hack number two here so let's loosen this off let's take our plate out like so we'll take this off 
make things a little bit easier, set that out of the way. Okay, so the junior stand, you remember I said it accept, the receiver is one and an eighth inch, and that's important. So let's take this out. So what I thought was my self-balancing stand, I made a plate with some custom wheels on it. So a custom plate, I welded it all together myself, and I thought, geez, that would be perfect to go on the bottom of this, only I don't need it to be so big. So I'm gonna put a picture of that here now. Take a look at the picture so you can see the base. Then the question becomes, how do I get this mounted to the base? B&H, God bless them, <laughs> they make what's called a wall plate. And this is actually an SRP-122P wall plate with junior receiver. And it's got eight holes in it designed to be bolted to a wall. You can put a junior receiver in here. And let me just do that for you right now. Just happen to have a junior receiver handy, like so. 5 8 baby pin, you can mount your camera, anything that goes on to 5 8 pin, you can bolt it to the wall, you want to bolt your camera to the wall, heavy light, what have you, um, a junior pin, and you're off to the races. So, I thought, why could I not take my junior stand, like so, and now all I have to do is weld that plate to my base plate, or I can drill some holes and bolt it to the base plate. And because the only weight that's on this is really just the monitor and the camera, which isn't a whole heck of a lot of weight, it's going to support this no problem. Because the welding that's done uh, in the joint here is, is precision, right? So, and there's no real force like side to side. It's all down force. It's just the weight. So, and this will give me uh, a really small footprint. I mean, you know, right now I can probably go 12 to 14 inches, maybe have the wheel stick out a little bit wider. But that, my friends, is my hack for a junior stand. Now, you don't have to use a junior stand. There's also an uh, impact light stand that I'm going to put a link uh, in the description. So I'm going to put uh, links to all of these parts in the description. You can get them all off of Amazon or B&H Photo. Pretty straightforward stuff. But there is an alternative to a really big C stand, and that's an uh, impact light stand. And it has these folding legs, but it's, uh, I would say the leg length's about half of this. So it might be, if you're in a small space like I am, that might be an option for you. But in my case, I've got some scrap metal in the garage. So I'm going to be making a plate with the wheels on it, same as uh, the picture I showed you. Easy peasy. So hopefully, uh, this is something you might want to consider for your setup. Okay, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this one. I hope you found it useful. And for God's sake, if you have questions, connect in. I'm the easiest guy to get along with. was a trainer for 10 years. Happy to answer any questions that you might have. Um, I will put um, links in the description to all of the parts that I've used. And even when I spoke about the aluminum plate, um, I'll give you a couple of options for that as well. So you should be able to build one for yourself. And the rest of the parts you can get from B&H, not very expensive, probably under $100 to be quite honest. And uh, thanks for watching. Found the video useful. Hit the subscribe, like, and smash the notification bell. I really appreciate it. It helps me bring more videos to you. And I will see you in the next one.